I guess you all know about Intervision Corp, the, the wonderful little DVD company who releases some marvelous titles. Uh, they, I would say that their biggest cultural achievement so far is to release four. Uh, I mean, four, four of uh, of uh, Bruno Mattei's latest movies or lost movies. You know, he died, um, which is a very sad thing. So because it felt like uh, Mattei had some kind of renaissance coming up, you know. And these last movies are splendid exploitation movies. Is they're just like the eighties, just like the eighties. It's the only uh, only difference is that they're shot uh, digital, but still beautiful movies. Lots of gore, nudity, and you know everything else. You know we we like, but they <clears throat> they release stuff like in the land of the cannibals or Mondo Cannibal. Uh, these are more or less you know uh, re reboots, remakes, uh, copies of Cannibal Holocaust and, and similar movies. Uh, then they made the, the the beautiful, crazy, entertaining movie Island of the Living Dead, which weirdly enough rips off. A lot of movies, but it, it rips off Uwe Boll's House of the Dead. Now, I like that movie, and but this one is even better. You know, I mean, with better, I mean it's crazier, it's cornier, it's cheesier, but it's made with a heart, it's, it's made with with passion compared to some other movies. I don't I don't want to mention any titles, I just don't like bashing stuff. Uh, his, his, uh, it's not his last movie, but uh, Zombies the Beginning was meant like a sequel to... Um, Island of the Living Dead, and this is basically alien uh, aliens, James Cameron's aliens, but with zombies. And instead of uh, uh, this, uh, you know, newborn alien stuff, eggs at the end, you have small Filipino kids painted white. It's so freaky, it's so bizarre. But the last movie, the last movie he 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 did. Uh, or maybe not the last, it's not the last, but it's one of the last. It's called The Jail. And The Jail is basically a, one of these women in prison films uh, set in a jungle camp, of course, in the Philippines. And, you know, it's it's high on sleaze. It's very high on sleaze. Uh, but it works. It probably the, the uh, that one movie of his last movies that works as, you know, it, it's, a, it's a standalone movie. It's not really a ripoff. It's... It doesn't try to copy other movies. It's just a uh, sleazy, violent, uh, quite gory uh, women in prison movie. Uh, not bad at all. But <clears throat> Intervision Corp have promised <laughs> in a Facebook comment that if these movies sell good, if these sell good, so go out and buy them directly, they will also release the jail on DVD, you know, if the interest is good enough. And <clears throat> You know, I, I have a DVD of the jail, but I don't want to show it because I, I want you really to buy these movies and support Intervision Corp. So they release the jail, uh, you know, in in one of these beautiful uh, DVDs with a new new cover and everything. I think it's, you know, it really captures the, the 80s feeling and it's for real, not like some, you know, tongue-in-cheek uh, retro kitsch. This is the real stuff. But one of the reasons why I always return to the jail and I want to see it get a wider, better dis distribution is this guy. Manson and Forsyth are not dead, they're only lost in the hellish green of the jungle. And soon avant-garde virtual techniques will enable the audience to find them. These tapes must be destroyed. Ain't he marvelous? I love him. You know, okay. Some people might say I, 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 you know, you can laugh at him, you know, or, or anything. But no, I don't laugh at him. I, I laugh with him, not at him, with him, because he, oh, it's like he acts like it was the, you know, it was the last chance ever he will be able to act, like, you know, the the world is uh, going under tomorrow, you know, it's, 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 it's the doomsday, and he stands there in front of the camera, and he does every, you know, he, he really uses everything he's got. I don't know who this guy is, but he's... <laughs> You know, the campiness, you know, he's, he's like from a Doris, Doris Wishman movie or, or Rebecca Findlay or, or, you know, John Waters, you know, he, he could fit right perfectly in one of those movies. Uh, if you know this guy's name and if you, that guy is out there somewhere, you know, email me, you know, or write a comment, you know, something because, you know, I would like to interview you. Oh, <laughs> this is this is Kitek. You scared me off to death, and that means I need to take care of her. <laughs> okay, bye bye.